Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at Outlook Boards. So this is a new feature in Outlook that allows you to pin various widgets to a board and view things all in one place. So let's take a look. If you head over to your calendar, then you're probably going to end up in this monthly calendar view here. And you have options up here in the corner, so we can take a look at this in a daily or a weekly calendar. And we also have this new option here. So let's click on board and this takes us to our Outlook board. And so here we've got a couple widgets already. So we have a calendar widget and you can drag and drop these widgets around and resize them, etc. So here we have a calendar view of our events and here we have a list view of upcoming events. And here we have a task widget. So this is Microsoft to do tasks. And we can also come up here and add new widgets to the board. So if you click on add to board and click show all, all there's a couple more widgets that you can add. So let's take a look at this. We've already got the calendar and task list up there. So let's take a look at the note widget. So this just allows you to uh, place a note on your board. So you can give it a title and then add your note. And we have various rich text formatting and we can also add in a picture into our note. And we can resize this. Now some of these widgets have options here so we can set a due date for this. So let's say I want to remind myself about this note so I can set a reminder or a due date. And we can also maybe change the color of our widget to highlight it a little bit more. Let's go back and add a couple more widgets. So we have a weather widget here. We can add different locations to and it's going to display the weather. We've also got a goal widget. And we can set goals. And these are just going to be events in our Outlook calendar. So again, we can set a due date and that's going to appear as an event in my calendar over here. Let's see what else is in here. So we can add links. So I could maybe link to my website here. And that's just going to give me a way to quickly open up my website from my Outlook board. Let's see what else is in here. So we can add files as well. So from our OneDrive, we can link files. So let's add a file into our board. And here's uh, an Excel file that I was working on. So this is from a previous video, uh, an Excel voting tool. Let's go back to our board. We can add a location. So this is just going to be a link to a location on a map. Let's go back and add some more things. So we also have a person. And this is just going to be contacts from your Outlook contacts. Now there's also a clock widget and just like the weather widget, you can add the time of a various location. And we also have a tips widget and this just shows some Outlook tips. And the last one here is a collection. So you can create collections of widgets by dragging and dropping them into the collection widget. So let's try adding one or two of these into our collection.
And now these are just grouped together in a collection widget. Now any of these widgets you can select and actually hold control and select multiple widgets. And then if you want to, you can remove them from your board. And once you're happy with the layout of your board, you can lock the view and that way it's just not going to be able to move them around anymore. Let's just unlock that. You also get quite a lot of real estate in your board so you can place items way up and actually it seems like you can just keep going upwards so it doesn't seem like there's a limit upwards or downwards when you're scrolling. So both ways you can just keep adding widgets. Now one thing to note, this is just a personal view, so it doesn't seem like there's any option to share a board with any of your colleagues. So everything in here is just for your own personal uh, organization. Also to note, this is only in Outlook on the web, so you're not going to find this in Outlook desktop application. Uh, this is a web only feature. So that's the new Outlook boards. It seems like a interesting idea and hopefully more and more widgets will be added to the uh, possible list of widgets that you can add. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos like this one and we'll see you in the next one.